Hello everyone, Chris here, and I wanted to show you today how to use TeamViewer 10 to host and join a meeting within the program. So a meeting is essentially when you're going to be screen sharing your computer and uh, whatever you have on it, whatever presentation you want to give, out to people across the internet or your internal company network. And uh, you can use this for many different purposes, including uh, hosting a webinar, um, a company meeting, or just showing something off to friends and family across the internet uh, when you're at home. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. To host a meeting is actually relatively simple. Uh, before I go ahead and click this presentation button, I'll actually point out the how to join a meeting though. So the presenter or the person who hits presentation and is presenting is going to be given a meeting ID. And this meeting ID needs to be given out to every single person who needs to join the meeting in one way or another. You can copy and paste it, put it in an email, whatever. In any case, anyone who's going to join the meeting while the meeting's going on is going to need to copy and paste that ID, which uh, starts with an M, and put it right here, pick a name, and then hit join meeting. And then they'll be able to see the screen share and hear the presenter as long as they have the microphone enabled. So to enable the meeting, we just go ahead and hit presentation. And as the presenter, you'll see this interface pop up and it'll mark you as the presenter right here. Now, the first thing you need to notice is the meeting ID, which is right up here. This is what everybody needs to know. So you copy and paste this into uh, whatever form of communication is going to get the meeting ID out to the people who need to join. So let them know that, then they'll start joining this and uh, you're going to want to have it set up. So there's two different ways to do audio. One is to do voice over IP, uh, which is basically just to be recording with your mic, recording with your webcam, and using the internet normally, um, in the same way as Skype, to communicate to uh, your audience. And that's probably the standard way to do it. Another option is with your phone, by having phone selected, you actually call into a phone number and it will charge you a few cents a minute. And uh, by calling into that conference phone number, uh, you can communicate in much the same way, except instead of using a webcam and a microphone, you're using an actual telephone. So uh, generally, if you are going to be speaking over a voice over IP, you're going to want to enable your microphone. If it's working, you're going to see these little bars pop up here and uh, go down there. Of course, you can always ask uh, your audience if they can hear you, um, and they'll be able to tell you in ways like having chat down here. So we can send messages to chat. Uh, if it's enabled. So once people start joining the um, the So once people start joining the meeting, we can chat with them using this little chat box, which you can uh, click on to bring up by hitting chat up there. And you can pop it up, and once they're in the room, uh, you can start sending messages to them, uh, ask them questions, have them respond to you, and you can do that while you're presenting as well. Um, a few other things you need to know. Uh, for one thing, what they're actually going to be seeing is whatever is showing here on screen share, which is... Uh, generally going to be your entire screen, although you can hit, I believe it's right over here, or maybe not, ah, down here at the bottom, presenting screen, and you can select different windows. Uh, for instance, <laughs> show recycle bin, Internet Explorer, Skype, uh, whatever window you want to show. So I'll go ahead and uh, try showing this screen. Uh, and now it's showing Photoshop, but it's not showing my desktop. So it will only show whatever I have pulled up in Photoshop. And that, that's a decent way of filtering out other things in the background. You might just be trying to present one program uh, rather than presenting everything on your desktop, everything on your computer, all your documents and files. That might be completely unnecessary. So just keep in mind, if you hover over screen share, you'll see that at the bottom. Now, um, you can pause your presentation. If you want to stop showing what is actually going on for a few seconds, you can always hit that. And if you want to stop your screen sharing altogether, you can click right here. Now, um, 
after you've stopped your screen sharing, you can still see that the call is still going on, the presentation is going on. Uh, the microphone, it's still transmitting data over to your viewers. So um, you don't necessarily have to share the screen when you're presenting. You could technically do an audio-only presentation if you wanted to. Um, da, 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 my video. So if you want to enable a webcam so that they can see the webcam either instead or along with the screen sharing, that's an option for you there. You just have to click this little enable slash disable the video feed there. And it doesn't have to be a webcam. It can be any device that um, is connected to your computer and functions as a, a video recording device that you have. Uh, just generally, that would be a webcam. Now, uh, one more cool thing you can do. Let me change this back to the whole show screen, share screen, and uh, actually record or display this to the audience of zero people. Um, you can basically draw on the screen with the whiteboard, and that's actually really cool and really useful. Um, so you could write notes like um, 7 o'clock. This is a pretty bad mouse writing. Meeting. And uh, leaving little notes like that, hopefully with better drawing skills than me, uh, might be able to communicate some extra messages to people who are just joining the chat room, um, or the, the meeting rather as they come in and you don't have to draw with the brush you can always type so meeting at 7 p.m. yeah yeah there we go meeting at 7 o'clock p.m. and um, yeah you have a few tools there that are open to you circles etc um, basically just think of it as you're using paint but you're using paint in a way that everybody can see and once you want to get rid of everything just hit the clear button very very simple Last thing you really need to know about here is uh, the file box. Now, if you actually want to send files to your audience, uh, the people who are joining your meeting, you can drag and drop them in here. That could be a PDF, it could be a flyer, it could be uh, a, a document, a Word document, an open office document, uh, whatever the heck you need. And um, that's, that's a pretty useful thing to have, getting files out to people when they need it. Um, could actually help your presentation a little bit. So there you go, uh, Team Viewer. It's a pretty fun and useful program to have. Of course, um, it's free for personal use, though there are licenses for corporations. So um, corporations do have to purchase their license. But if you're just one person, um, maybe you're just showing your friends, or possibly like a small church meeting or something like that, then uh, this is a great tool you can use, and you should be able to use it for free, as long as it's not for commercial purposes. So, uh, once again, I've been Chris. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave, uh, let me know down in the comments section below. Aside from that, I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for watching.